Roll, roll, roll your records. That's right, today we are testing out the record roller. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frank. Welcome back to channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. I've been curious about this for a while. Big shout out and thank you to Ron from Record Roller who sent out this uh, Record Roller package for me to try out and review. As always, views and opinions are my own. So let's get at it. Dear 33ers, remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. A thumbs up also helps this channel continue to grow. I appreciate your support. So this record roller package is manufactured by VinylVac. I've tried out VinylVac before. It's an attachment you put on your shop vac and it sucks the dirt right off your records. They've introduced this new product, the record roller. The company says this is the fastest and easiest way to clean your vinyl records. In this pack, we have four items, including a large microfiber cloth, a four inch record roller, stylus, brush, and, and, an anti-static brush all in one convenient package it's a $50 value they say this package retails for $39.97 the company claims their adhesive record roller will clean the entire surface of your 33 LP records in just a few passes the unique adhesive material is designed to only pick up the surface dirt and grime leaving no scratches or adhesive residue behind it's washable and reusable and apparently is designed by record lovers. Now, I've been curious about these um, record roller type brushes for the longest time. I've never tried one out. I mean, this design is nothing new. Um, it's been around for a while, but this one, this particular one is packaged by VinylVac, and as we just saw, it comes in this um, four-in-one record cleaning kit. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So first thing I got, the instructions. Um, so step one, microfiber cloth. And we'll go over this again in a moment. It says lay out the microfiber cloth on a flat surface. Spread completely out with no lumps or creases and place your record on the cloth. Um, record roller, next. Okay, remove the protective plastic wrap from the four inch record roller. Before you inspect the record for any hard or sharp debris that may stick to the roller, make a complete pass. Do not use pressure, remove all surface dirt. And it's got the uh, stylus brush. Uh, prior to playing your newly clean record, take the brush and lightly brush the bottom of your turntable stylus, only brushing outwardly. And finally, the anti-static record brush. To keep your vinyl records in tip-top condition, we recommend using the anti-static brush before each play. So, okay. All makes sense. Here is the cloth. This is the um, carbon fiber brush. This helps control static on your record there we go i like the um the matte black finish on this one it's got the uh, record roller it's a sticker on it so again this is not um an earth shattering new sort of design these have been around for a while but kind of cool i guess that's all packaged with the uh, same kit right you save money that way you buy the kit and here is your stylus brush so we'll try that as well. You gotta be careful with these. You gotta make sure you use them correctly or you could damage your stylus. And then here is the uh, the main piece, the piece de resistance, the uh, record roller brush. So it's got this protective case around it. I guess that um, it's stored in here. I guess it keeps the dust off um, when in storage. So, I mean, this is fairly simple in design. As I said, these have been around under various brand names and designs for a while. Um, Record Roller claims this one is unique because it's four inches wide, so that would make um, cleaning easier. It's sort of, uh, it's got this um, protective cover on it. So I think we're all set. I mean, there's not a lot to this. Let's move the camera over there and um, start cleaning some vinyl. Okay, we've moved down here on the ground. Hopefully you can hear me and see me. Got my trusty old Pepsi crate here. So we're going to pl place, pardon me, we're going to place the microfiber cloth down on here. Going to take all the creases out, make sure it looks all right. And we're going to try to clean 
a record. This is a Rush album. Which one did I pull out here? Moving Pictures, of course. This is Moving Pictures. So let's place it there. I mean, it's just, it's dirty. I mean, the album is scuffed up, so I don't expect miracles, but it definitely has a layer of dust on it. Um, I'm not gonna do a before and after play test, unfortunately, just because of YouTube's copyright policies. Uh, I don't want to get dinged. And I know um, some of you argue with me on this. You say there's um, fair use on YouTube. There is no fair use. If YouTube wants to ding you, they ding you. So here is the record roller. Um, let's carefully take this protective cover off of it. So instructions say it's best to take four passes at it at four different angles. So I'll take a pass this way, this way, this way, and this way. And we'll kind of see what this see what this does. So here's so oh, I kind of miss some of it. There is the first pass. Here is the second pass. And again this record has not and clean. I can kind of feel it sticking to the surface. I can see the surface it's getting brighter as I do this. And I'm seeing, I'm not sure if you can make that out, but there's definitely some residue here on the record roller. Some dust and some lint and some other garbage that was on here. I don't know if it's worth doing another pass on it. But that has definitely cleaned some of the dust off of it. Here's another record I want to try. This is the new Corb Lund album. Brand new, I've probably listened to it three times. I did clean it in my spin clean when I got it. And it's in, it's in pretty good shape, but there's some static issues on here. And you can see there's a hair right there and some other dust has stuck to it. So I, I tend to clean my new records. Let's see if this picks anything up. I did notice still after I I cleaned it with a spin clean that there's still some snap, crackle, and pop. Ever so slight going on when I spun this record. So I just want to see if this takes anything off. And it did. I mean, there's a hair there and some other miscellaneous dust and contaminants took off this record. Let's bring it over to the turntable and see how it sounds. What I want to do next is just take the carbon fiber brush and this the point of this here is just to really get the static off the record. So you just let it spin like this. You hold it down very, very gently and you just kind of pull it off the record. Then here we have the um, carbon fiber stylus brush and we're just going to take it and very gently, here hold on one second, I'll raise this. Just going to very gently clean the needle. Be very careful how you do it. Gently and pull away. So there we go. We've used all the components of the kit. And I'm probably going to have to mute the sound here. But I'm just going to see how it sounds after that cleaning. Okay, cool. Let's move back to that side of the room and I'll share my thoughts. That was cool. As I said, I've wanted to try out one of those record roller type brushes for the longest time. As you saw there, the record roller did remove some of the lint and some of the dust and some of the fibers and whatnot that was on the record. And those were fibers that were still left behind after cleaning it with the um, spin clean, either that or particles that kind of made their way on to the record after listening to it once or twice after having given it a good clean. So from that perspective, it was absolutely worth it. I mean, typically the way I do things is when I get a used record, I give it a wet clean, either using the spin clean or the vinyl vac. And I tend to even do that with new records. On subsequent plays, I don't go through all that. Typically I'll do um, a wet clean using a brush. I'll, I'll spray the record and give it a light clean with a brush. Now I'm thinking that this um, record roller is an alternative to sort of that brush clean. I mean, it's not a deep clean. It provides a light clean, the sort of light clean you should be doing to your records prior 
to every listen. And again, that is going to minimize the snap, crackle, and pop. I'm not saying I'm giving up on wet cleans and record brushes. That's, that's the way I do things. That's the way I've done things. But this is definitely another alternative, and it's another tool in my record cleaning tool box, which, again, I, I plan to use. So the question is, in terms of value, is this kit worth a nearly $40 US? Let's look at this. I mean, if you need all this stuff, it's definitely good value. I mean, if you don't have a, a stylus brush, if you don't have a carbon fiber brush for your records, if you don't have a record roller, phenomenal value. You're getting all three of those things for $40. If you already have some of that stuff, you could probably get a record roller type brush on its own for a bit cheaper. That said, I haven't tried other ones, so I can't speak to the quality of those. This one's got the four inch roller surface. So, I mean, some maybe two or three inches. This one's gonna clean the surface faster, but I, I can't say it's better than any other brush on the market. It all depends on what you need, how much you money you wanna spend, and if you uh, wanna invest in the entire kit. If you do, just from this fooling around, cleaning a couple of records I've done now, I would suggest this is definitely a good value and worth your investment. All right, 33ers, let's talk record cleaning. How do you do it? Do you do a wet clean like me? Do you do a deep clean when you buy a new record? Do you do a light clean before you play them? I mean, it's worked for me for years and that's what I recommend, but I would love to know your thoughts. Also, record rollers. Do you have one? Have you used one? What are your thoughts? As I said, I'm digging this one and it's gonna become a regular part of my uh, record cleaning toolkits, but I'd love to know your experiences with them. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you dug this video, please leave a uh, thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Link below this video so you can buy your own record roller. Dear 33ers, I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic week. Until next time, keep on spinning.